following tools and materials are required to assemble laminated floorings. A saw with fine teeth and a square. Spacing wedges. Measuring rule. Film cutting knife. Pencil. A backing foam mat 2 to 3 millimeters thick. PEPA film of 0.2 millimeter thickness. Skirtings. Handles. Floorings and panels should be stored for at least 48 hours in the space where they are to be assembled. Chronopol OSB plates, Chrontec MDF plates, chipboards and wooden floors, ceramics, linoleum, concrete jointless floors and PVC can be used as subfloors for laminated floorings. Subfloors on which the floorings are to be laid must be previously checked for any damage since laminated floorings may be laid exclusively on a surface which is flat, dry, clean, and stable. Smaller surface irregularities, up to 3 mm, may be evened using backing mats. Large irregularities, greater than 3 mm, should be ground down. Vapor barrier foil should be laid in overlap on such prepared subfloor and glued down with damp resistant tape. The temperature during storage and assembly preparations and when laying should be between 18 and 22 degrees Celsius and the humidity up to 70%. Next, lay a backing mat till contact is made. Chronotherm TS of 5 mm thickness is recommended. This is a wood derivative insulating soundproofing plate, reducing the sound of the footsteps by 21 decibels. It is to be laid with displacement in so-called brick pattern, maintaining a 1 cm gap between plates and wall. If required, cut the chronotherm with a knife to the wallpaper. Before flooring assembly is commenced, measure the width of the room and divide by the width of one panel. Should calculations reveal that the final row of panels be less than 5 centimeters wide, the width of the first row will have to be appropriately reduced. <laughs> 